legends, heroes, and poopy heads. Welcome to the Omni Flash channel, where Omni Flash will take gaming to the next level. My name is Omni Flash, and I am your guide to the perfect world. I am really excited the brand new Time Master class is coming. It will be probably next month, all right? So there's going to be a new Time Master class. I'll make a video showing you the Time Master in action, giving you a sneak preview of what it's going to be like very soon. But in today's video, I will be showing you the number one, the king of all artifacts, the best PvP artifact you can get. Uh, if you want to see the video on the best free-to-play PvE artifact, I will link that below. It will be the first comment. I'll link that. Go check that video out. That's how you get the free PvE artifact. But the best PvP artifact is not the Fortune Rat. The Fortune Rat used to be a very good artifact, which allows you to go invisible, untargetable, allows you to escape enemies because they have to try to find you or reacquire you. You can get invincibility for a short minute of time. That's all very nice, but this brand new artifact is so amazing. And I'm gonna show you right here. So sometimes it's tough to keep up with an archer, especially when they grace fleet and fly away. Well, not anymore. You use this artifact and they have nowhere to go. Right here, I caught Luna BR inside my net. Also my artifact. Oh, oh, there's a there's a cleric. What should we do? Oh, let's uh let's catch her with my artifact. And she once again will not be able to escape. She is in my net. And uh clerics do not like me saying this, but sometimes it's best to take out a cleric first. Right here, I'm going to catch this archer again inside the net. He doesn't know where to go because you are caught within a three and a half meter net and you have to get away. Now, with a cleric healing him, he doesn't die immediately. So the power of this artifact is that it will trap you. It will trap your enemies within a three and a half meter circle and they cannot escape you, all right? So that is so powerful, especially if you have at least two players on your team, maybe a Realm War team that has it. You can actually extend the length of time up to four and a half seconds for each artifact charge. And it has a 90 second cooldown, so you might be able to use it twice in a battle. Now, the way to get it, I'm going to show you how to get it. It does, it's from the Great Treasure event, all right? So, from the Great Treasure event, in order to get it, the easiest way to get it is by, uh, is by you getting the monthly packs. I think the monthly pack is like $2.99 and $5.99. You do need 12,500 unbound ingots. And the easiest way to do that is from the... Is from the uh, $2.99, $5.99 monthly packs, and then you can buy like the daily packs, like the $5.99 daily pack or the $2.99 daily pack. That is the best deal. Also, you can get the growth funds, like the growth funds can get you many thousands of ingots as well. So uh, definitely, uh, definitely do do that. And once you have 12,000, uh, 12,500 ingots, you can get this phenomena shard do not start the great treasure event this is very important do not start the great treasure event to try to get uh, the phenomena pedestal do not try it unless you have exactly 12,500 ingots because uh, there are three stages for the great treasure event okay three stages the first stage gives you like one shard the second stage gives you three shards and then uh, the, the third stage gives you six shards. And you have to go through, to get the six shards one, you have to get through the first two, all right? So definitely don't start this event unless you have 12,500 ingots. And it's pretty nice. It's because uh, some people have asked me where I gotten my Rambo rat, uh, my, my mount from this event. And I just got this moon bunny, this moon bunny flying mount also from this event. You can also get like the phoenix, 
uh, Phoenix skin from this event also just depends on what they are giving out as a bonus for this event now you are not guaranteed this moon bunny uh, aerial mount but I've gotten two this round so I, I've been pretty lucky I've gotten two getting two does nothing I do wish that I could have given one of these mounts to somebody but you can't but you know I tend to you know I look at that bonus item and for example this mount is worth it's a it's a 4,000 ingot mount so so it's not bad I mean especially if like I needed a flying mount so you can really think of it as a free mount with this artifact which is not bad not bad at all on top of that you do get all of these items too a lot of these items can be used to build your phenomenon pedestal after you get it so uh, so definitely try to do that it is 12,500 ingots don't start it until you have 12,500 ingots and then after you see how this says one of two it is actually possible it is possible for you to go ahead and uh, you can refresh leg bottom you can refresh the third stage that gives you six six shards all right if you want to collect each and every one of the artifacts what I recommend you do is not to refresh the first two just refresh the third whenever this event comes refresh the third and because it gives you six instead of one or three you'll be able to get the other artifacts a whole lot faster and easier so definitely do that refresh the third one and uh, that will help you get the other artifacts a lot faster if you want the other artifacts just to give you uh, some passive battle rating now that you have your phenomena pedestal I'm gonna register it and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm I've gotten a lot of artifacts from mirages over the time and you can put all the PvP stats onto your phenomena pedestal so you will go to transfer and you will transfer all of the PvP stats such as damage versus untamed, damage from untamed, damage versus uh, humans, damage versus elves. Any of those are very strong, uh, very strong. And also, depending on the grade of the artifact that you have, the strength of those stats will differ. So so if you if you get like a zither a zither would have a higher stat than from a war drum for example because i have a built perga tower i'm going to use the perga tower as my uh pve item okay I, I know it's not the best artifact for pve there's something that came out yesterday the uh, free one uh, that I have a video on I'll, I'll link below remember uh, but I'm gonna use my perga tower because it's built and I don't have to I don't have to uh, spend ingots leveling it up but the carving stats all the carving stats for your phenomena pedestal does all that does is it does it gives you a little bit more damage and it gives you more HP so at level 67 I have 2000 HP at level 100 it's going to be 4000 HP so it's not going to be a huge difference so you shouldn't focus on carving what you need to focus on is is actually the traits there are three traits the first trait increases the amount of time that your enemy is actually caught inside this this uh, this force field and that first trait is called eternal rest extends the duration of the phenomena pedestal shadow and how do you get this eternal rest It's by crafting more of these eternal uh, of these phenomena pedestals it is 12,000 silver ingots a lot of people have asked me how do you get 12,000 silver ingots and uh, the way is uh, selling these things that I get from treasure maps when you're treasure mapping you get a lot of stuff for example like a lot of mirage stones 
Uh, you get a lot of those little blue crystals, the red crystals that you use for accessories. I, I don't use that many of those. I don't. I sell those. Um, anything, anything that I can get some silver ingots from. For example, yeah, I, I think I just sold those uh, e, uh, those EXP stones for your elixirs the common ones I, I don't use the common ones i don't have many common elixirs just anything that you don't use that you know you won't use like like the common elixir of grades like too many way too many blessing stones it's things like your your soul stones or stuff like that or engraving stones that you will use you don't want to sell for silver ingots because you only get two thirds of the value. Anyways, I've I've uh, sold all of my sold all my useless stuff, and I can create some extra phenomena pedestals. And then the traits, it doesn't matter what grade your phenomena pedestal that you craft, the traits will upgrade no matter what. So the most important one is eternal rest. You want to extend the time from three seconds to four and a half seconds. The second most important is the second skill called self-produce. Self-produce will, will actually debuff, remove one of your enemy's buffs. Uh, at rank one, it's it's like 10%. But at rank at rank five, I believe it is at rank five. It is 50%. So 50% chance to remove a buff. So, so that's what you gotta do. The third, the third one is just is is it's just extra damage. So not not su super important. You just need to uh, if you are on a budget, just get that first skill up to level five. All right. Now you know everything. Uh, right now I'm just going through all of my artifacts looking for the best skills for it like damage versus ring elves damage versus untamed damage uh, from untamed damage from elves damage from humans you want to get those PvP stats onto the phenomena pedestal because you will only be using the phenomena pedestal in PvP events like guild league arena divine valley realm war war of the gods this is where the phenomena puzzle still just shines in territory war void war this will trap your enemy and allow your whole team to focus fire them normally i don't know enemies run they run they run they run and it's hard to get them down with two of these phenomena pedestals you can lock someone down for nine whole seconds and in nine seconds you can take anybody down I hope this video has helped you a lot. Oh, there's one more thing. I, I do I did make my purgatory tower my PvE stats. So I would put all of my PvE like attack uh, crit. You will want to put Slayer and Aegis level on, on my Purgatory Tower. So that's that's what you would do. So you will build one PvE artifact and one PvP artifact. All right, now you know how to make the best, the strongest PvP artifact. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, tell all your friends about it. Comment below to be entered to win a $25 iTunes or Google Play gift card this October 15, 2021. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.